Can you survive 100 days in a cave only world? Just not any sort of caves, the new 1.17 cave update. I tried to pull that test to the challenge and this is probably the hardest 100 days you're ever gonna see. So please watch this video all the way till the end. Comment down below if you would like to see a 200 days of this. While you're there, please tap that like button. YouTube statistics also show that only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy this video at any point, be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification. But this is 100 days in a cave only world. Day one in a brand new world and this is a caves only world where there's nothing but just caves. Uh, who would have thought it'd be this hard and the first thing in my head is I need food and I need wood. So I decided to run out on a journey and jump straight into the water because I thought that'd be the best track to potentially find a mine shaft. But instead we instantly found diamonds. Who finds diamonds this fast? Like it's unbelievable. But after we started making our way around, I went exploring in this cave for a long time. Going from area to area until I found this little opening which led into a mine shaft. So the first thought in my head is I need to get all this wood to actually make a crafting table and all sticks so I can make resources. So I ended up mining some cobblestone and then once I got cobblestone, mining some iron. After I got enough iron, I made the most overpowered item in the game, which is the shield, which actually would make me survive the rest of the night. Still in this cave, I came across a bunch of mobs, which honestly, I thought this might be a strat to get raw flesh and potentially this is my new food source. After that, I went around mining as much wood as I can because I don't know how limited of resource wood actually is. So I ended up making a bed and with that, I went to sleep. I came across this amazing skeleton who had aimbot. So you know what I had to do? I had to one to clap. I came across a mineshaft chest and honestly it gave me some decent loot. I ended up eating the golden apple and I went to mine some more iron to get full iron. I came across a zombie spawner which I honestly thought at the time was kind of stupid. The loot inside wasn't too much to fuss about. It was some decent loot. I couldn't really complain. I started smelling all the iron I needed and I went back to mining more wood because I needed as much wood as possible. Realizing I didn't have much food, I went back to the spawner to actually farm these guys for raw flesh which might have been the biggest strat. I made the rest of my full iron and then again I went back to the spawner until this mini zombie came out at this this point I realized wait this is a little bit harder than I would have thought. I killed the baby zombie and I decided to light up the rest of the spawner and leave because I didn't want to risk my luck with the rest of this. Going back down I came across more diamonds. When I tell you how unbelievably easy it is to find diamonds in this new 1.17 cave update it's actually crazy. Making my way back to the surface I found a place I would actually call home. With the bones I got a bone meal the floor and once I got seeds I decided to make a farm. I used the bone meal to make wheat instantly and so I didn't die for this day I decided to torch up the entire area. I to explore a little bit so I grabbed as much blocks as I could and I made my way all to the top because I wanted to see what was at the height limit. I wanted to dig to the top to see what was around this area and that's when I came across a ruined portal which I didn't actually expect to be in this cave world but with that I thought this is a perfect opportunity to actually make a lava source without having to mine for diamonds. There were three gold blocks here so I decided to mine the rest of these gold so I got infinite gold and I realized wait I have curse of binding this is bad and with that I made my way into the nether. Making the sketchiest bridge possible I ended up exploring the nether a little bit and I got the worst spawn possible but after a little bit of exploring I found some bone meal blocks and that's really what I came here for. I wanted as much bone meal to make as much food as I could But that's when I came across this skeleton who wanted a bit of beef and also this gas too was probably the easiest kill of my entire life once all distractions had gone, I decided to mine the rest of the bone blocks. I came across a bastion and the first thought in my head was, wait, let me just loot up this bastion. I made my way towards the bastion and decided to throw these guys the gold that I acquired from the ruined portal. And they gave me a bunch of decent trades. Honestly, ender pearls are kind of clutch. I didn't want to explore it too much, so I headed back to mine some more bone blocks. So I did the smart strat of building gravel and I almost died by falling. That would be pretty bad. Back in the old world, I decided to mine the rest of the obsidian. So when I actually got back to my place, I could make my own portal in my own house so it's easier to acquire. With the bone blocks I acquired, I decided to make my farm even bigger by farming it instantly and making it as big as possible, which included me making an extra couple of rolls and just farming for more food. Yeah, I spent a long time doing this. I came across some intruders in my house, and after killing them, I went a little exploring until I found this stronghold, which I didn't think I'd actually find. How is this even possible? Making my way into the stronghold, I just, I dug down. I wanted to make sure this was actually real, and I had to pinch myself and find out, yep, it's actually real. This is the point where I almost died because a creeper tried to just assassinate me out of nowhere. And when I tell you this place was guarded by so many mobs, it was crazy. Make my way to the actual portal room. I wanted to see how many eyes run here until I came across this silver fish and I was like, yo, I don't want to deal with this today. So I dipped and ended up finding the skeleton instead. After taking a long time to find this bookshelf room, which I couldn't actually find, I decided to leave and make my way back to the surface. So I swam back up to the top to say goodbye to the stronghold for the first time. I needed to make a secure foundation and a base, so I ended up mining a bunch of blackstone until I came across this magma cube who just wanted to beef me a little bit. I don't know why. Once I killed him, I decided to mine some more blackstone, and I spent the majority of this day mining as much blackstone as I could until my pickaxe literally broke. On the way back, I came across some glowstone, which I thought would be easy to just pick up while I'm here. The next couple days were spent just 
making a stone core and actually making the foundations of a base slash village that I wanted to be. I, I didn't have an idea for what I wanted to make other than I wanted to make a village which I could go from point A to B. But that's when I realized that this is kind of hard with a bunch of intruders always coming in. I'm going to be real when I tell you I actually had no idea how I was going to make this build. I was just placing blocks just to place blocks. I had no idea in mind. It was just that I had to look kind of cool. I did whatever my gut was telling me. I just built up, built down. I broke whatever I wanted. Again, I had no idea in mind. And honestly, the more I did, the more it started to look a lot more weirder. And honestly, I didn't expect it to be that big where I had to actually reform the entire area by digging out a bunch of dirt. I wanted to make an easy pathway to get up and down without actually having to maneuver my way and parkour across the trees. And once the majority of it was done, it started to look kind of decent. I wanted to test making a path with this new block, but then I realized, wait, it looks kind of weird. So I decided to mine it all up. Making my way back into the nether, I had a goal in mind. And that goal was completely finding some wood because I wanted to make wood into my build. And after so much time of looking, I gave up and started speed bridging. But that's when I came across the wall forest and I decided, you know what? This is like a decent building block. When you've got no real resource, I think this could actually look pretty cool with the blackstone. So I mined as much as I could. Somewhere in between, I came across a hot tourist destination achievement, which honestly, I can't complain. And with that, I also got the crimson wood. I came across a newer ruin portal and that was when I just lost my gold block. How does that fall into lava? Still exploring the nether, I came across another bastion and this time I wanted to loot it a little bit so I had to make a safe strategic path to actually get the loot inside. And when I told you this was strategic, it was unbelievably difficult to make. Once I had the loot, I went to explore the rest of this bastion, but not actually take it on. So I went around looking and this is where I almost ruined my hardcore world by dying. And that was when I clutched it by placing a block. I don't know how I even did that. These piglins did not want to trade at all. They dropped me actually nothing. I got some last minute wood before I headed back. And once I came back to my house, I found two creepers on top of my building. Like, bro, who are you trying to invade? I realized I need to torch this area up because there's way too many mobs. From every angle, there's a different type of mob and I just don't want to deal with the stress. It got to a point where the whole gang of spiders were trying to gang up on me. I don't know what I did to your family, but yo, I did nothing. And I, this was a pain. I was like, why did I was actually thinking in my head, why there's so many? Adding some decoration to the house, it turned out like this. I'm not gonna lie, this enderman was kind of peaceful, but I just wanted to cause chaos. So I ended up destroying him in a 1v1 and he dropped a grass block. Realizing that I was actually low on food, I decided, you know what? I need to start making a farm. So I ended up making a farm with blackstone and mined the rest of the wheat. Somewhere along the way, I found out that sheeps and farms actually do spawn. So I ended up trapping this guy into a little wall area until I found a mate for him. Next majority of days, I spent a long time actually just going mining because I realized that I didn't actually have many resources. If that meant fighting mobs to get resources, I had to do that. I made my way down to the 1.17 caves and I found a bunch of diamonds. When I tell you diamonds are way too common now, they're seriously way too common. I don't know what's happened. But like always, these caves are absolutely amazing to look at. And I think I actually pretty much got full diamond from the amount of diamonds I actually found. On the way, I thought I realized this little room and it turns out that this was actually the room I've been looking for the entire time. It was the bookshelves room. So I wanted to yoink as many books as I could so I could make an enchantment table level 30 already. And that's when I found a weird looking book that had every enchant possible. But that didn't stop me just looting this entire bookshelf room. Leaving the stronghold, I found more diamonds. And I also found the new amethyst crystal, which I tried to get my look at, but it just broke. I didn't get any amethyst from it. It was just a waste of time. The underappreciated ore in the game is lapis, and I'm so lucky I actually found this. That was when I came across a slime just chilling in the ocean, which I didn't actually expect, because how? Wait, why? I didn't realize slimes actually spawn like that, but I didn't mind because free slime balls, you can make it in some cool redstone contraptions. And again, when I told you diamonds are way too common, just look at me diamonds I actually end up getting. This is unbelievable. Believable. Once I got back, I decided to put all the loot I had into a one chest and make the overpowered enchantment table that I needed. Once I also made the bookshelves, I decided, you know what, let's make a level 3 enchantment already because I can get stacked and that's a more secure chance of not dying. With the amount of diamonds I actually ended up getting, I made full diamond and that was when this guy tried to sneak up on me. That was the only chance he could kill me. But then I realized, wait, this is a zombie villager. I can't really kill this guy because I could make him into a villager and start a villager farm. I decided to enchant a few items with the level 30 I had and you know what, it, I got some decent loot. I got a fortune 2 pickaxe. The next few days, I wanted to work on my farm, and that's when I came across a guy trying to ruin my farm. But that didn't matter because this farm is high vitality. When I tell you I put so much effort into this farm, I wanted it to be the greatest farm on YouTube. And honestly, it was the most peasant farm ever. I ain't gonna cap, but you know what? This farm kind of turned out right. And that's when I was like, I need to torch up this entire area. So with the coal I got from my mining trip, I torched up the remaining area around my base. Checking up on the zombie villager, I realized, wait, he actually despawned, which I couldn't be too sad about. He just disappeared. I wanted to make more progress on my house, so that's exactly what I did, which included me just 
just placing a bunch of blocks, which I, turned out to be kind of half decent. I, I, so at this point, I had something in mind that I wanted to do, and that was make it as nice as possible and make it as authentic as possible. But this is where the big problem actually came in, and that's when I realized I'm completely stupid and I made this house lopsided. How how were the five blocks on one side and four blocks on the other side? Tell me, how am I this stupid? That's when this Edelman came to put me on my misery, and I was not going to have any of it, bro. I was fed up with this. So I ended his career, and he dropped me an ender pearl. With that, I decided, you know what, let me just dig out the rest of this area. And let me use the blue blocks to actually fill out this entire area. And it turns out this was the smartest idea I had because it actually looks nice. With the rest of the blocks I had, I decided to fill out the bottom floor. But I soon ran out of wood, so I had to go back into the nether and mine some more. And once I had enough, I returned back home to do the same thing over and over again. That's when this guy almost tried to kill me. And I was like, wow, well, you shouldn't be spawning. But then I realized, wait, okay, wait, it's turning night. This is bad. I wanted to check on my farm. And again, for some reason, there's just mobs after mobs coming out my farm. I wanted to decorate my farm a little bit. With that, I started to place blocks on top of blocks, hoping that this place actually looks half decent and I'm not just not messing it up. I wanted to make my storage area as nice as possible, so I placed a bunch of chests in here and started to move all the loot I had into here. This just included me going back and forth. I needed a bunch of cobblestone to make furnaces, so I dug into the wall and I made all the furnaces I needed. With that, I used the rest of the bone meal I had to make as much food as I could, which included me planting crops and destroying crops. And again, there was more zombies. Why? And honestly, this place has actually come along really nice. I wanted to head back into the nether to go a little bit more exploring because I still hadn't found the fortress which is just not like me so I decided to come across these guys who almost killed me I did not want to be for this so I decided yo I'm gonna die let me ruin my life in my little hands and I somehow made it I don't know how I made it out of that I ain't gonna cap started doing some risky maneuvers trying to just find some cool areas and this is where I almost ended my hardcore series again but instead I just decided you know what let me mine as much gold as I can I had fortune too so I was definitely gonna get a lot of gold I came across more blue trees and you know what that means time to make a crafting table and make a bunch of gold but that was when I came across a fortress for the first time in this hardcore world. Inside, I found this with a raid to fight me, and I was ready to fight him. I was getting hit by blazers left, right, and center. I did not know what to do. I was scared. I didn't have a shield. But honestly, that did not stop me farming a bunch of blazers. I wanted the levels, and I wanted the blaze rods, because we found the stronghold anyway, so it didn't really matter too much. So for the next couple hours, I spent here just grinding a bunch of blazers and fighting the mobs that were here, which actually turned out to be very tactical teammates. Why were you guys teammates? How is this even possible? But after I clapped them both, this gas came out of nowhere. Who, which gas spawns this close to the world? How? I was confused. I wanted to get a bunch of nether bricks so I could use it for a building block at least. And once I left the fortress, I realized, wait, the fortress is right there, but there's a bastion right next to this. What is this? Is this a world record seed or something? I wanted to loot as much as I could, but I didn't want to loot too much. So I found some ancient debris, which is cool. And I wanted to start trading with these guys. So I threw some gold down. I wanted them to come and I expected that to be that. But then the uh, brute came out of nowhere. Why do you want to trade with me? I decided, you know what? Let me kill him, but he was about to kill me. So you know why I just ended his career. And I kid you not, this guy didn't drop me anything good. So I decided to kill him too. The next few days, I just wanted to make my farm more efficient and more intense. So I wanted to make an extra layer and I wanted to just upgrade my sheep farm too at the same time. So I just ended up making this into a little rectangle cube area. I made a second floor to this entire farm and decided to just plant a bunch of seeds. I didn't want to make it too ugly so I ended some decorations on the outside which actually turned out okay. And the final product actually looks very nice I have to say. So I added some lattice to actually get to the top floor. With the bone meal I had left on the bone blocks, I decided to use this to farm for the rest of the next Next couple days and once i ran out of bone meal i decided you know i have to just wait for it to actually legitimately grow which took a long time did you know and i had a lot of wheat left over until this guy tried to do some 360 no scope i don't know if he was trying out for the face cam or something but he just he died i found another sheep luckily so i don't know how this even happened but i brought him in and this was where i was like okay you've got two people i can make a farm here and that's what i did i wanted to not be cruel so i made an extra big farm for these guys and with that i wanted to enchant my boots and i got some decent depth strider boots now that i was kind of stacked i wanted to make my way into the bastion and i wanted to actually complete the bastion legitimately and this is where my first mistake actually happened because as i mined the gold these guys came out of nowhere but i was actually secured the loot i got from the chest was pretty cool but that didn't stop me i wanted to go higher and i wanted to get more loot so i made my way in and this time i found a whole group of brutes ready to fight me and you know what that means three brutes versus one quiff who wins you know what i was it was very unlikely but i actually ended up winning with a strat of just them not being able to touch me after i killed them i decided to loot up the rest of the chest and i actually got the pick step disc with that i used the crossbow I had acquired to actually fight these guys but then 
two of these AIs were actually stupid, so they just jumped off to their deaths. I don't know what they were doing, but their AI must have broke. With that, I knew it was easy to get the rest of the gold because there's no hindrances in my way. And with that, I started to make my way down to the stronghold's bottom layer. Can I remind you with the amount of pig brutes there actually are? It's unbelievable. But that doesn't stop me being the bastion hunter I am. I wanted to loot this entire area from the scratch, but this is where I almost died. Like, I kid you not, I almost died here, and this would have been... How many times have I... Can someone count how many times I almost died in here? It's unbelievable. But once I pretty much cleared out all the piglin brutes, I found the last remaining brute here, and I ended his existence. After that, I made my way down to mine the rest of this gold, because I needed as much gold as possible for the future endeavors I was going to take. I loot the chest, and that was two ancient debris in one chest, and then obviously, I, I got another ancient debris. That's four ancient debris I all had all together. After that, I left the bastion to go explore, and that's when I came across another bastion altogether. I wanted to loot this bastion a little bit, but again, I almost died. I had to MLG clutch it. How am I doing this? Opening this chest would actually be one of the biggest mistakes I ever did, because these guys start to aggro me like non-stop, and I thought I was safe at this point. I thought I was clear, but this guy was shooting these pilgrims onto me. Why are these big brain strats? That's when I had enough of these guys and thought, you know what? I need to end you guys before you actually kill me and it's over. I made my way deeper into the bastion and looted everything I needed to, but this is where it all went to hell's blazing, because this is where I, this is the closest to death I've actually gotten. When I tell you I survived with barely any HP, I think I was safe to say I was probably going to die here if it wasn't for my extreme luck and skill. When I tell you I used 95% skill and 10% luck here, I think it's more to say I've got 99% luck. After I successfully escaped this entire area, it didn't stop there. These piglins wanted a grudge against me. They chased me all the way here to the point where I had to just end the pearl out of here. With that, I made my way back to the base and the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to bop some, some tunes. You know, copyright, we're not about that in here. I wanted to go mining to get more cobblestone because the idea I had in mind was I need to get a bunch of coal and I need to get a bunch of cobblestone for the sole purpose of I need to make stone bricks. So that's what I did for the entire couple of next days is I went a bunch of cobblestone mining and I went coal mining. And I tell you, this was probably so boring to actually do. But once we had enough cobblestone and coal, I decided to make a bunch of furnaces. And I also made a grindstone, which I used to disenchant all the gear I actually got from the bastion because it was pretty much useless. And I used that to enchant my pickaxe, which I got fortune free. Which with that, I started building the outline with stone bricks. And I had a decent idea in mind, which was build until it looks legit. So that's what I actually did. And I ended up using the stone cutter to make cool bricks. And the idea I had was stone bricks and blackstone. Kind of looked horrible until I decided, you know what, let me scrap it all and use actually the blue blocks because let's make it symmetrical. Once I did that, I used the shovel to actually make a path so it looks kind of legit and it looks nice and I just filled it up with more of the blue blocks and honestly, I think that might be one of my favorite pieces of wood after that. Once I dug out the entire area, I replaced all the floor with stone bricks. I have to say the final product kind of turned out pretty perfect. It was a perfect home to call my bed space. That was until these creepers came out of nowhere. For some reason, they wanted to fight me. I don't know why. Now that we were getting close to 100 days, I think it was time to make some legitimate progress and that was to trade with these guys to get ender pills. So that's what I did. But these guys didn't want to trade. So I needed to get as much XP as I could while looking for piglins. Once I found a bunch of piglins, I threw on all the gold I'd ever acquired in this hardcore and I just waited for these to drop some cool trades. While I was doing that, I was mining some crimson. Yeah, these guys literally didn't trade anything other than maybe a few pills every now and then. But 117 trades are pretty horrendous if that's say. I made my way back into the fortress and I thought this is a perfect time to fight all these guys. But the amount of fire resistance potions I had, there was not a chance I would die. I didn't even need a shield at this point. I could just go around killing all these guys with no faults. But then they were so, so annoying. Like, bro, why are you flying so high? And I actually spent a long time doing this. I don't even know why I needed blaze rods because I already had six from the beginning, but I didn't think at this time. I was like, yo, kill, 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 free XP. Once I got home, I made a brewing stand and this is where I'd start to make my potions just in case the bed cycle didn't work in 117. And I made strength two potions. I decided to kill the remaining zombies trying to invade my farm and use the farm to get the rest of the wood I need. After that, I made my way to the sheep farm and got all the wool I needed to make a bunch of beds. And with that, I made nine beds. Can you believe that? I used the rest of that XP I had to enchant my legs and I got decent legs. With that, I made my way to the stronghold and I used the eyes I had to fix up the portal. Now into the end, this was where it got real. I didn't know if the 117 bed cycle was the same or it was completely different. I was scared. So just in case, I started to break all the crystals. And at this point, I was just waiting for the dragon to come down. But then he was lagging all of a sudden. I was like, wait, why are you lagging? I'm in single player. I'm not on a server. This shouldn't be possible. So I had to do a quick reset. I had to disconnect. I had to hop back on. And once I was back, it was normal. So he started to purge. And this was when I had to do the bed cycle. And it turns out it was pretty much similar. The bed cycle worked. Didn't change it. Again, I was panicking slightly because I was like, yo, is this actually going to work? But it did. So there was no worries, really. And there you go. I completed the Ender Dragon and completed the actual game. But it didn't stop there. 
I made my way over to the NC portal and I used my ender pearl to go inside. For some reason, without even looking at these endermen, I had a whole gang behind me. And again, this was another time I was so close to dying. I had to eat the last gapple I ever had and fight these guys while I had still had my strength potion enabled. I mined up all the chorus fruit and I found my first NC. Making my way up to the NC was again pretty relatively easy because you got these guys who just keep throwing these little shulks at you. And once I got to the top, there was no good loot, but once I got into the second chest, they had some pretty solid loot, which I actually, I actually really liked. Wow. I realized that the pirate ship was actually pretty much merged into the NC fortress that I found, which was pretty cool, I guess. I made my mate down to check up the chest and collect the lighter, which again, there wasn't much cool loot in here other than the amazing pickaxe fortune fruit mending. It was overpowered. I yoinked a lighter from here and honestly i made my way back down but i realized i didn't have no more ender pills so i couldn't mlg those clutches anymore so i made my way back into the nc portal but for some reason i had a whole gang of endermen chasing me i don't know what i did to their family but they wanted revenge but with that i completed minecraft for like the 18th time once i made my way back home i think it was time to fight the wither so i placed the ender dragon head and i prepared myself to go on an adventure i quickly made an anvil and this was the time i was going to spend to upgrade every single bit of gear i had the problem was i had no lapis so while i was looking for lapis i found more diamonds how is lapis more rarer than diamonds now i will not understand that once i made my way back i thought it's time to finally start enchanting all my loot but i got trash so i disenchanted the sword again and enchanted again and this time i got a sweeping net sharpness after merging all my loot together i decided you know what this i think might be the final stuff i used to actually fight the wither and this could either be a make it or break it so i decided you know what time to actually go and find some wither skeleton for the next two hours i actually find all these skeletons and you know what i for some reason i i am extremely lucky i don't know how i'm lucky but i'm extremely lucky but i wanted to fight these guys so there were no more wither skeletons left and that meant killing every single one and you know what my wither skeleton look was pretty trash i think i killed over i want to say like 20, 30 for the first time until I got my second head, which was from this guy, which I am extremely happy about. You know what? Thank you very much, sir. But after that, I there was none. I was not getting a single wither from no one, bro. It got to the point where I was so bored. I was shooting shots across the map. But it turns out for some reason, the guy dropped the wither head from the, the, the longest shot in the entire world, which I was actually low-key freaking out about. Now it was time to start heading back. So I was killing withers still. I wanted the free XP. But as I wanted to make my way back, I realized the actual exit was blocked off by a bunch of withers. I don't know what I did to you guys, but you want revenge. So I slowly made my way back. I killed the last place here. Once I got back to the overworld, I finished off these skeletons as a little warm up practice before I killed the wither. And once I found the perfect spot, I decided to finally summon this guy. And this might be the end of my hardcore, but you know what? I think it's been a journey and a half. Once he was here, I think it was time to finally fight him. I was slightly shook by a netherite boot, so I wasn't really that scared, I guess you could say. But I, he was kind of hard to fight. I didn't have a smite 5, only had a smite 4. It got to a point where he was stuck in the ceiling and I really didn't know what to do. So I decided, you know what? Maybe I dig up and hide. He was stuck at this point. And I think this was a perfect strat, to be honest. So I was just waiting here camping until he got close. I ate a bit of food. And then this is where I started critting him nonstop. And this is where it went hard. I critted him so much. I I didn't know how he died. He still had a bit of health. I honestly still don't know how he died from that. But you know, I am not complaining. With that, I killed the final creeper I would ever kill. Once I made my way back home for day 99, I realized, wait, I can't get glass really. So the nether star was completely useless. But I killed the wither, which was cool. I placed a wither rose on each side of my house. And for day 99, I had to do something crazy. And that was going to be try to kill an enderman with no loot at all. I almost died. With that, I threw an ender pill into the sky, hit the top, and I tried to MLG it. And for some reason, I MLG'd that. And that was probably the closest time I've ever died. Reaching day 100 has actually been a journey. And I thank you guys for sticking by me till the very end. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, if you did, please click that subscribe button and notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next 100 days.